dear student in this lecture we are going to study uh, the anti tubercular drug and its synthesis so in this case we will study the ethambutal the structure of ethambutal is here so it is a diamino group of compound having two uh, alcoholic functional groups are there its name is 2 2 dash ethylene diamino dibutanol so this ethambutanol uh, it is a bacteriostatic in its action it kills bacteria and it hinders the synthesis of bacterial dna and protein and therefore it inhibits bacterial rna synthesis so this compound uh, the role of this compound is hinder the synthesis of bacterial dna and its protein so when the synthesis of dna and protein is get stopped then automatically it inhibits the bacterial rna synthesis and also it clears the sputum containing mycobacterium in less than 3 months the patients which are suffering from a tuberculosis so when the treatment is go uh, is going on with this ethambutal uh, ethambutal it clears the sputum containing mycobacteria in less than the 3 minutes so it is either given alone or in combination therapy for the treatment of this pulmonary tuberculosis those patients suffering from tuberculosis they are recommended uh, with an ethambutal and also in combination with the multi drug therapy so in this lecture we will see the, how this ethambutal is get synthesized in the laboratory so synthesis of ethambutal so when a uh, one nitropropane i will draw this structure here one nitropropane ch3 ch2 ch2 so this one nitropropane when it is reacted with formaldehyde okay in basic medium so what happen here base up abstract the proton from this alpha position abstract the proton from this alpha position of this nitro compound then there is a formation of a carbanion that carbanion attack on this uh, functional group of this formaldehyde and it leads to the formation of ch3 ch2 ch i will draw no2 here and this carbon attacks on this carbonyl group of this formaldehyde and it is converted into this 2 nitro 1 butanol so 2 nitro 1 butanol so when this 2 nitro 1 butanol when it undergoes reduction reaction when it is reduced with ready nickel then this na2 group is get reduced into the nh2 group now see here i will write again ch3 ch2 ch now this no2 is converted into this nh2 ch2 oh so this compound uh has two isomers that is a dextro rotator isomer and levo rotator isomer is uh, is in combination with here it is synthesized and now we are going to resolve this uh, racemic mixture into the dextro rotatory form which is more active than the levo rotatory form so i will write here resolve with tartaric acid
then we get a more active compound that is CH3, CH2, CH, CH2OH, NH2. That is dextroretary form of compound is more active than the leurotratory to amino 1 butanol. So this compound is now reacted with 1 to dichloroethane. So this compound is now reacted with two molecules of 1 to dichloroethane. I will write in the next step CH3 CH2 CH so I will write NH2 now here and this CH2OH is written on this Cl CH2 CH2 Cl so two molecules are utilized here for synthesis of this ethambutol so CH2 CH2 CH3 and here is CH2 OH so one hydrogen is more here and CH3 okay so these two molecules of 2 amino 1 betanol is reacted with this 1 2 dichloroethane compound okay so in the acidic condition sorry so when these two compounds are reacted now see here what happened here so the lone pair of electrodes of this NH2 group attacks on this CH2 and this chlorine is get removed so here the same the second molecule attacks on the second part and these two chlorines are get removed so there is the removal of two molecules of SL from this reactants and we are getting the final product that is CH3 CH2 CH CH2OH CH2 sorry sorry uh, I missed this NH2 group NH CH2 CH2 NH CH2 OH CH2 CH3 so this is ethambutol if you see this steps of reaction it is so simple so the first step is the reaction of uh, this one nitro propane with formaldehyde so it forms a renin uh, it forms two nitro one butanol so this compound undergoes reduction reaction in the second step and it NO2 group is converted into NH2 group then this two amino one butanol is get resolved and we are getting uh, more reactive uh, dextro rotatory to amino 1 butanol so this 2 amino 1 butanol uh, in 2 moles it is reacted with uh, 1 to dichloroethane and finally we get this ethambutol so this is what the synthesis of this ethambutol it is highly uh, recommended uh, drug for the anti tuberculosis and uh, so it is a bacteriostatic and it inhibits the synthesis of bacterial RNA. So in the next point uh, we will going to see the anti leprotic drug that is Dapson and its synthesis. So what is the use of this Dapson if you see the structure here that is 44-diamino diphenyl sulfone group. So this is a sulfone group compound is there and we are going to synthesize this compound in this lecture so before that going to uh, synthesize we must know the use of this dapsone 
so this dapsone is used in the treatment of lepromatous and tubercular type of leprosy so it is used for the leprosy patient as a multi drug therapy in combination with uh, clofazimine and rifampin it can be used in the treatment of multi bacillary leprosy so in mtd that is multi drug therapy in combination with different drugs it is used in the treatment of multi bacillary leprosy so the next is that is depson in combination with trimethamine is also a drug of choice in the treatment of malaria and trimethoprim for the treatment of pneumonia so this drug is also used in combination with different drugs for the treatment of malarial patient or a pneumonia patient so in this lecture uh, we will study uh, how to synthesize this a dapsone compound which having two amino two phenyl and the sulfone group is there so now see here how to synthesize this compound mm -hmm. now synthesis of and dapsone synthesis of dapsone so initially uh, the four chloro nitrobenzene that is four chloro so this compound is written here like this so at the para position chlorine group is there so four chloro nitrobenzene So this 4 chloro nitrobenzene is reacted with sodium uh, sulfide so this sodium sulfide is reacted with two molecules of this 4 chloro nitrobenzene so in the next step what happens there is a formation of a sulfone compound that is now see here so there is a formation of this simple structure compound that is no2 sulfur is there and two molecules of this compound are attached with the sulfur okay so this is a four four dash four four dash dinitro dinitro diphenyl sulfide so what happens here two molecules of four chloro nitrobenzene is reacted with uh, sodium sulfide is reacted with sodium sulfide sodium sulfide then we are getting 4 4' dinitro diphenyl sulfide so this compound is then get oxidized to a sulfone so we are going to oxidize this compound uh, in the solution of that is with potassium dichromate okay, to Cr2O7 in acid condition this compound is get oxidized into the sulfone so i will write here s double bond o double bond o so in the next step the final step is reduction reduction of no2 group into the nh2 group with tin so the final compound we are getting is a uh, dapsone having nh2 
functional group. This is a dapsone. See here what happened. In the first step, we are reacting 4 chloronitrobenzene with sodium sulfide. So, two molecules of 4 chloronitrobenzene is reacted with sodium sulfide and it is converted into 4 4 dash dinitro diphenyl sulfide. So, this compound which on oxidation uh, with potassium dichromate, then sulfide is converted into the sulfone compound. Then, finally, on a reduction of this nitro compound into the NH2 and we are getting this ethan buto uh, sorry uh, this dapsone as a uh, back antibacterial compound so this dapsone is belongs to uh, the class of aromatic sulfones if you see here there is a sulfone group is there in the structure and this is a class of sulfone compound <laughs> So in this lecture we have seen uh, two synthesis, one is synthesis of ethambutol and synthesis of dapsone.